kind of the thing that's been talked about more than any of these huge trades that have gone down is James Harden turned down a was it a two year fifty million dollar per per, year per year extension and has apparently asked to be traded specifically to the Nets. Do you buy this? Is it real? And do you want it to happen? I don't think it's real. I think James Harden wants his own team. I think that's that's what I would think too. Yeah, and he on Instagram he went and showed the pictures of like bottle caps. Bottle caps, yeah, yeah. <laughs> saying cap, cap. Yeah, so yeah, I just don't think it's true. I think if he wants to get traded, it would be to the Sixers. It makes the most sense for yeah. James Harden personally, and it makes the most sense for like both teams. Yeah. So like, I just can't see why he wants to go be second fiddle to Kevin Durant. And I can't see Kyrie accepting this trade too. No, not at all. It it doesn't yeah. make this makes no sense to me for on any side. So first of all, why would James Harden, unless he wants a ring that bad, why would he want to be traded to a team where he's going to be second, second? And um, yeah, like he definitely he's a, he's one of the best players in the league, one of the best shooting guards of all time. He yeah. definitely wants his own team. And then on the Nets side, I wouldn't sign off on this if I'm KD or Kyrie. Definitely not Kyrie. And KD, the last thing he needs is to be on another super team with another big three of three Hall of Famers and not get yeah. any credit for any ring that he might win. And I think KD wants to reestablish himself as as the best player in the league, and that's not the way to do it, to bring James Harden onto your team. Uh, yeah. And then, But then I don't understand why the Rockets are trading away Robert Covington if if there's not other stuff going on on that team. That just doesn't make sense. If you're trying to st- still win with James Harden, why are you trading r- away Robert Covington? So yeah. Is he gonna? Is he actually getting moved? Is there a mystery team? Is it? Is it the Sixers? Because I'd like to see that. That's something yeah. that we talked about before. I think Ben Simmons is being underrated, just because he can't shoot. Yeah. Like, there's 15 players that made All NBA teams. Ben Simmons was one of them. You're getting a yeah. top 15 player, not according to rankings, like not according to what you say, I say. Yeah. NBA All NBA teams. So you're getting a top yeah. 15 player. And then you're going to get like probably Matisse and Shake, two young guys with him. And you, it's pretty easy to build, build around Ben Simmons with the pieces they already have, just straight up shooters. Yeah. And you just hope he becomes an ex-Giannis. And for the Sixers, like James Harden and Joel Embiid sounds really, really good. Like that sounds, that sounds LeBron AD level good. Yeah. And if you could be the Lakers of the East, I think they'll be happy with that. And that's the trade I see as realistic. And if that if talks between the Sixers and Houston Rockets start getting reported, I'll start believing that. But right now, I think the Rockets just want to see if they can fix that relationship, see what could happen. But one thing I would like as a fan is Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Serge Ibaka, all on the same team. And that can happen. They just need to trade Kyrie. Yeah. Kyrie for... I don't even know how that would work, but yeah. Like Kyrie, Dinwiddie, Levert. Yeah, yeah. And Allen. Send them all over for <laughs> Westbrook and James yeah. Harden. Okay, Sign. so re- reunion. That, that would be insane. I think that, that would, would be, be insane. Of, that would be one of the most fan favorite teams of yeah. all time. Personally, as a fan, I want to see that Sixers trade happen. I don't know if it's going to happen because... I think the hiring of Doc Rivers bought the Simmons and Bede pair another year or two at least. Yeah. And I I think they would let Doc try to have a go at at, at that potentially all time great duo before they split it up. But yeah. as a fan, I would love to see Embiid play, uh, play with James Harden. I'd love to see Simmons on his own team with a bunch of shooters like that. Yeah, and you talked about those two picks and why they kind of did the trade for getting rid of Covington. I think it's to get a center. Okay. I think I think they're just going to okay. trade for a center. I think they're going to use Trevor Reza, two picks. Maybe P.J. Tucker, get a center. I didn't even think that. That actually makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I did not think picks. that. They have no picks. Yeah. They traded it all for Westbrook and Covington. Okay. So they have no picks. So I think they're just getting the picks to trade for a center. Try to tell both the su- two superstars, hey, let's run it back. One more year, yep. got your center now to guard AD. Let's see what happens. Yeah, like as much as I would love to see Simmons on that team, I think you have to go to you. You only trade Harden if the relationship is absolutely unsalvageable. You have to try yeah. to salvage that relationship. J- 
James Harden is one of the best scorers of all time and is definitely good enough to win a championship yeah. just given the right team. So I think you have yeah. to hold on to that. Yeah, and another team that was rumored as a super long shot was the Raptors. And it yeah. was Siakam. And the thought process was Siakam and Giannis play very similar positions, play very similarly. So you get James Harden in, yeah. you get Kyle Lowry, you get Giannis, mm-hmm. and next year, you're basically guaranteed to win a championship. Yeah. And for the Rockets, it would obviously make sense because you're getting an all-NBA second-team player. Like, I don't think you're going to get, like, that level of player back for James Harden realistically. So you get him and picks. That would be pretty interesting for them. But obviously, this is a super long shot. Like, Giannis has to not sign a super max. Giannis has to give an inclination to Masai. Like, he has to either it be a rumor, he just calls up and tells him, hey, I don't like how this team's performing. I'm coming next year. Yeah. Like, it's super unrealistic, but that would be every Raptors fan's dream duel. Yeah, like, (laughs) it's a super long shot, but we know that out of all, out of all, uh, general managers, team presidents, Masai Jury always evaluates all the possible options. No one expecting them to be players for Kawhi Leonard, and we all know how that worked out. So yeah. I would not be shocked if we start hearing more James Harden to the Raptors rumors. But yeah. like you said, I don't I think I think it has to be James Harden and Giannis if, if they're yeah. gonna if they're gonna do that. I don't think they would get even though James Harden's a million times better than Siakam, I don't think they would trade Siakam if they didn't think they were going to get Giannis. Yeah, and that would be probably the best. I think that duo would, I it would compete I, yeah, against I, LeBron yeah, Beatty. I think it would. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's not get too like Raptors fanboyed out here, but uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Listen to the Stretch the Floor podcast on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts, and follow us on Instagram.